The breaking news this morning, and this is a big one. D.C. police just minutes ago announced that they do have a, a suspect behind, uh, under arrest. The suspect they believe is behind the serial shootings targeting homeless men in both the district and New York City. Two victims died in those incidents. We want to send things over to Fox 5's Melanie Ulmick, who joins us now with what we've just learned. Mel, good morning. Good morning. So uh, police sources tell me that this man was taken into custody in the 2700 block of Pennsylvania Avenue Southeast in the early morning hours. And remember, this is when this man traditionally has been out uh, uh, perpetrating these attacks. This is not far from the 6th District Police Station. I'm told the man was stopped by federal partners and is currently being interviewed. We do not know at this point how he was brought to the attention of police and federal partners, but we do know the net was cast far and wide, even the mayors of D.C. and New York asking the public for help. This was a cold-blooded attack. When you look at the premeditative action of this shooter, it sends a clear and loud message that we need the help from the public. We're calling on anyone. Uh, who has any information to reach out to our tip lines. Uh, there is a lot of good detective work that has produced some good images. And now we have that closer shot of the suspect's face taken from an ATM, but investigators were keeping very quiet about the location of that ATM. And D.C. police also released video of the man as he walked down New York Avenue on March 3rd, casually eating before he allegedly attacked a homeless man. And then days later, that uh, really just disturbing surveillance video from March 12th on the streets of New York now sparking outrage at the cruel and deliberate shootings. One man killed another wounded there. The Attacks began March 3rd in D.C. with a homeless man shot and wounded on New York Avenue Northeast, another shot and wounded March 8th on H Street Northeast, and on March 9th back on New York Avenue Northeast, where the victim was found dead in a burning tent with multiple stab and gunshot wounds. Ballistic evidence has now connected the five known shootings. Detectives, though, had not yet been able to say how the suspect was getting back and forth between Washington, D.C. and New York. So we do know that uh, one of the ways a connection was made is a D.C. homicide detective uh, happened to notice the New York City police uh, tweeting out on social media who they were looking for. They made that connection, and that is how this investigation got started so quickly. You'll notice that all of these incidents in D.C. happened in Northeast. That suspect was taken into custody in Northeast, and we'll be standing by for more information. All right, Mel, thank you for that update.